All right. I know it's morning. Probably you in traffic. Have <laughs> a normal traffic. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I think that all Kenyans will go to heaven. Is simply because the traffic prepares us for how long we'll wait in the line of getting into heaven. That's why I just have a feeling that probably all Kenyans will go to heaven. But that's beside the point. Um, <clears throat> I just, um, it's now one week since I came to the US and uh, there's a lot of things I'm seeing. I'm meeting a lot of people. I'm networking, I'm connecting with people, which is a good thing. For me, what I normally say is, um, when, and, and, and I was sharing this in the event I was hosting on Saturday, that when I was waiting for my connecting flight at the Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam, connecting now to get into Seattle, I asked myself, if God forbid, if I am to go today, if God is to call me to heaven today, what is the caption the guys will write when they post my picture on social media? What are guys? What are my friends? What are my fans? What are my friends? I don't even call people fans. Friends, the friends who I've not met. What are they gonna post about me? What is that one thing they're going to remember about me? I just came to imagine how life is short. Life is really, really, really short. And I have seen so many things on Instagram, and and at times during Father's Day. And Mother's Day, I, I literally laugh because I realize, and a special birthday is for your parents. And I realize, man, we, we, we are so fake. Now, today I'm going to ask you a question. When you post happy birthday for your mom or your dad on social media, that message you've posted, have you already sent, sent them before posting it on Instagram? Let me say Instagram. Yes, that's Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Have you already posted it before? Putting it for us. Some of y'all come and write very long captions. Yet your mom and dad are not even on Instagram. Your dad is still left on my space. Your dad is still on Yahoo. Oh my God. You can write a whole thing. Then even prepares long post a lot. Write all these things. And I'm not going to say it's wrong. Because I do it as well. But the, what I normally ask myself is. Am I faking my emotions in front of the public for me to get likes? Or have I sent mom this message already? Have I sent dad this message already before I post it out to the world for them to know how I feel about my dad or my mom? Before you go out clubbing, <laughs> before you buy your, your bow tea with your, eh, with your guys, Akina Bari, uh, and Akina Kevo, you know, Akina Teddy. Uh, those are the names of the cool, light skin, light skin guys, niggas. That's how, those are the kind of names they have. Before you go out with Akina Kevo, Moas, GMO. Do you remember your mom sent you a text in the course of the day that probably she needed 3,000 to go and contribute for her chama? Girls, before you order online, before you order with that handbag, do you remember mom asked you if she can get a thousand shillings for her to probably go to the next village or go to the next town or attend a funeral of an aunt of yours? I'm just wondering. Are we real on Facebook and fake in real life? How much do we appreciate the people around us? How much are we loving them as if we never have an opportunity to love them again? And let me even forget about parents. Let me, let me put that aside. Let's talk about your friends. When was the last time you called your friend not to ask for anything? But just to ask them, have you, how is your day going? Are you okay? That's how I saw a post on Instagram. When somebody says the times, the people live so much, so much fake lives on Instagram and social media, only to find out when you get to their houses, they only have expensive curtains, but they have nothing to hide actually inside their house. 
There are people with mekos and they actually don't have anything to cook. The reason they can cook is stories. So I'm just going to push a challenge to you. Think about it. I'm just... Make those random phone calls to your friends. Make it, make a random phone call. Just call. Hey, dude, are you okay? <laughs> hey, I, I'm not calling to ask for anything, but are you okay? Hey, CZ, hey, hey, BFF, hey, bestie, are you fine? Because I realize the only time, like for you girls, the only time girls meet up is when they're having rurashios. Uh, uh, there's a baby shower, there's a bridal shower, there's a, there's a moon something, I don't know what it's called, moon something. Or actually, when one of you has been heartbroken, that's when now the whole WhatsApp group joins together and goes out and drinks. Then you guys are gonna sleep over to one girl's place because it's convenient and near the club. Then after you wake up in the afternoon, you borrow your friend's t-shirt, you go to your place and that's the last time you guys are gonna talk. Well, fine. She opened up to you and told you, hey, Jim and I have broken up. Then like, oh my God, all men are trash. They are taka taka, all they are dogs, my God. Then you guys go out to celebrate. Actually, you guys are celebrating. But you lie to her that you're going to console her. You don't need her. God, you don't need her. You don't need, need him. Then after, after the breakup, do you guys still call to check up on that person? How much impact do you have in your life, in your friends' lives? That's the question I'm asking you today. How much impact do you have in your friends' life? Do your friends miss you when you don't call them? <laughs> when you don't text them? Do they miss you? Have you ever asked them, do they miss you? Not like really, probably you don't care. But I'm just using a figurative statement. How much impact are you playing in your friend's life today? Think about it. Bye. So, yeah.